Hey everybody, Awesome Cubing here, and today I have part two of how to solve a dollar store cube. So let's get started. In the last video, I showed you how to solve the first two layers, and now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the last layer with all of the possible combinations. So what we're trying to do is get a cross first. So the first step in doing this is trying to find what we have. So right now we have a star in the middle. So this is the first combination. We have one star in the middle by itself. And the rest of the edges right here, they're all opposite direction with the pink on it. So they're facing outwards. So what we wanna do to make the cross is do this algorithm. And then, now we have this combination. So what we want to do, once we get to this combination, is flip the entire cube over and do the exact same algorithm. And then, we get to here. So we do it yet another time so in total you do it three times to get the cross the star cross on the top but but um we had to flip it over so we did one time then we flipped it over and we did it two times so then that's how we get this so the second combination you can get is where you have a line straight across with the edges so with this line, you want to do the simple algorithm that we just learned before. So we do this. And now we have the star once again. In case you missed it from before, where you had this piece right here, where it looks kind of like an L that we did from the first case where we only had one star, so, the algorithm that you do is the same, but you have to hold it where these two pieces are facing away from you, and you have these two pieces, the two pink pieces, facing towards you, and you do the same algorithm that we had just learned. Twice. There you go. So, now that we have the last layer cross done, what we want to do is get these corner pieces all to be facing upward and to solve the whole side. So, there are many cases that they have. And what we're trying to do is get it to this case, like on this cube here. So what we have here, it's another dollar suit cube. I don't have another one with stars, so I'm going to be using this dollar star cube. So, what you want to have is this case where we have the star right here, a corner. So, now this is like that, and you have one white piece, and not white piece, one pink piece facing towards you, one pink piece facing that way, and one pink piece facing forward. So that when we do it, we do one algorithm. And then it solves the whole top side. So what we're trying to do is get to that same case on this one and solve it. So right here, we have this case. And what we want to do is do the algorithm we just found. And now we look. Is it the same as the one we just had? So is there a, it's just like this, 
like that, but the piece is facing outward like that, and the piece is facing forward like that, and facing this way. So that's not correct. So what we want to do is get it and do the algorithm right in the same spot as you would have if we would solve it. And now you're back at that case right here where it's there's one piece facing towards you, one piece facing oh wait. Um here. <laughs> Sorry. One piece facing towards you, one piece facing outward, and one piece facing forward. So now we can do the algorithm. and solve it. So pretty much what you want to do is keep doing that algorithm until you find the case that I have. So, mm, nope, it's not the same case. No. So let's do this. Same algorithm. Do I have the case? You may have to flip around your cube and look around and see it. Wait, is this correct? Yes, this is correct. So then you can go ahead and do this. And then it solves it. So now that we have this layer solved, we can go on and trying to solve all of these other layers that we have by just getting these corners flipped around and the edges flipped around. So what we want to first do is get it to where there are two pieces lined up here, 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 and here or many different cases. So for the case that we have right now, so you want to turn it to where you have two star pieces, two star pieces, and bring it to a side where it has lined up, so it has the two star pieces, or if you get a lucky case, you have a whole entire side solved, you bring it to the side it has to be on. So now that we have it on this side, what we want to do is turn the cube over like this. It's only for this case though, where you have this two pieces like this. What you want to do is do this algorithm. And then it moves the pieces around like that. But in my case, it actually solved it the edges were all solved in my case but for your case it may look different so the second possible thing could be where you have no edges that are like what I just said that aren't connected that will connect no matter what you do nowhere on here is there edges that are connected so what you want to do is go onto any side, this one it can work for any side, and do this algorithm. Okay. There you go. And now, if you move it around, now you have these two edges, all of them are paired up. And in some cases, they might have it to where one side is solved, but all of the edges, not edges, all of the corners are matched up with their edges. So now all of these two pieces are on the correct side and they're correctly in place. So, once you have this case to where you're here, you want to look for something. So you want to look on here. Do I have a side solved? So in this case, I have a side solved. But if you don't, you can look for the next case where I don't have a side solved. So in this case, I have this side solved. So what I do is this algorithm.
and then it will solve it. But in some cases that you have it, you have it so it doesn't solve. So if I do it one time, when it's like this and has one side solved, oh no, it's not paired up, it's not solved. So what you simply do is you go again and do the same algorithm. And then it is solved. Okay, so now if you do not have any of these sides um, solved, none of them are solved, then what you have to do is do the algorithm that we just learned and you have to do it, look. You have to do it once and then you look for the side that is solved. You found the side that is solved and we do the same thing from the past um, that we just did. So we have the side solved now and now I can go ahead and put it, the side that we have solved in the back away from us and then do the algorithm and it's solved or you do it two times and then it's solved so there you go that's how you solve a dollar star cube and this is part two to solving it bye